Miloša Karadaglića u Londonu srela sam, a o njemu ponavljam, nisam ovde mnogo znala. To je momak koji je došao iz Crne Gore, sam krenuo i napravila sam jednu njegovu malu biografiju koja treba da bude na neki način kao recept svima vama koji mislite da je nešto nemoguće. Iz Crne Gore je, iz naših ovde svih krajeva i da vidite Miloša Karadaglića. I'm so excited, thank you. This uh, really and truly is a dream come true. Um, and today is not only a very big day for me, but also for the classical guitar. I was born on the day of the Eurovision Song Contest <laughs> and it was a huge one for our country because the representative was from Montenegro and then it was a big Yugoslavia. So, so I, was, I was brought to the world with uh, people singing and that's what my mother always jokes about is that I was always going to be some kind of a singer or something. The person who really inspired me the most, in a way, was my grandmother. She had the most beautiful voice, and every day she would come to help my mother and take care of me and my brother. She would always come with a different song, and she would always sing this most beautiful song with the most amazing voice. And then I would sing on my own, and I would find song to sing. And uh, it was very easy for me to sing. I never had to think about it, the voice would just happen. It was very good. When I was eight years old, it was the time when you start the music school. And I went there and they were checking how talented I was and they decided to give me to play either piano or violin. And I said, how about that I play a guitar? Because we had a guitar that nobody used anymore. I so remember the moment when my father gave me this guitar because it was sitting on the top of the cupboard in the, in the bedroom so he had to take a little, uh, a little uh, ladder to get it down. So he got it down, he gave it to me and I took it and I really, it, it is one of the earliest memories uh, of me and the guitar, maybe the very first one, uh, was me picking up this guitar, making a turn around the house, doing the rock star move and saying, wow, this is very cool. That's what I want to do. And in 99, 2000, the time when I was leaving, this was science fiction to go to London from here because we just came out of the most, uh, most horrible time in history of our country. Hello. My name is Miloš Karadagovic. I'm 16 years old and I'm from Montenegro. For me, up to that point, that audition tape was the most important moment in my life because I was sending this tape to the Royal Academy of Music and that was my biggest dream and something I wanted so badly. To go there was such a big thing and actually it was uh, such a big thing for my country and I remember before I went for London, it was in all the media and all the papers because at that point I was quite well known in Montenegro for what I was doing. It was tough. I was so homesick. I was really so homesick and I was younger than everybody else. On the very first day in the academy, my teacher, Michael Lewin, who I adore, found me crying because I knew nothing they were talking about. But I found refuge in music because I knew I had to change a lot of things. I knew I had to learn how to play. I knew that I have to obtain the tools to make the music which I had inside myself. When it 
comes to the Albert Hall, it really is one of the biggest dreams which I ever had. The first time when I saw what Albert Hall was, was on TV in Montenegro. And uh, it, was, it was some kind of a big gala concert with a lot of different players. And I was just thinking, wow, can you imagine the feeling of performing in this space? And when I got to London, one of the first visits which I made was to visit the Albert Hall. And when I saw it, I said, I have to get to play here one day. Miloš Karadaklić ovdje govori na engleskom jer se tako predstavio uopšte britanskom gledalištu.